Hello, my name is Devyanshu Yadav and I am going to be presenting my ML project to you. So the topic of my project is bias correction of numerical prediction model temperature forecast. Uh, you can easily find this data set on the UCA website right here. Uh, so this model was given to us, this data set was actually provided to us and actually the goal of uh, this uh, project is to like uh, and uh, predict the temperature of next day temperature forecasting is essential for numerous applications like uh, agriculture energy management and public uh, safety etc so uh, the data set which was provided here to us is uh, uh, it covers the summer seasons from 2013 2017 in seoul korea it comprises the LDAP's model, next day forecast data, and uh, inside maximum and minimum temperature of the present day. So with the help of this data, uh, we will try to train a model and uh, predict the next day temperature. So let's get started. Uh, so here I uploaded the data set which I downloaded uh, from the site to my Google Drive and I am uh, mounting this uh, to the collab. So here I have imported uh, my data set. So um, print data. Uh, here I have printed the data which was given to us. Uh, now we will be starting by data pre-processing. So this is the data head. Uh, the data head is a function that displays the first few rows of the data uh, to give us the idea, a quick glimpse of the structure and the contents the data size uh, the data size attributes actually provides a total number of elements in the data frame uh, it gives us uh, uh, cells in which uh, both rows and columns are shown the data shape attribute it returns uh, the tuple uh, in which we can have the dimensions or uh, like it's the number of rows and numbers of columns the ne uh, next up is data values so uh, each element in this array represents a cor uh, corresponding value in the data frame and we have data info which gives us uh, information about uh, like the total number of rows and columns in the data frame uh, name and their uh, respective data types and count of null non-null values etc uh, so after this we will be cleaning the data data cleaning starts from here so data dot is null is sum uh, uh, data dot is null dot sum so what this is uh, doing basically uh, it is uh, used for calculating number of missing values or null value uh, in each column of the data then data uh, uh, the data drop on and uh, data insa dot sum so the data dropana is used to uh, remove any columns from the data frame and data that contains missing values and uh, this one here uh, actually it is calculating the number of missing values in the column and we can get, uh, we get this which uh, these are null values all these so we can drop these and then we have this code here actually what this code is doing is uh, it actually check uh, checks the data type in the column here's uh, we have uh, taken three uh, things that uh, the data uh, column and max category and which we have assigned value 20 from the start these are the parameters so it checks the number of columns uh, like if it's a string or uh, if the number is a unique value and uh, it should be less than uh, the specified value 20 uh, if either of the condition is true it returns the string cat like you can see here it is returning cat and uh, if the uh, condition if neither of the condition is true it returns the string num to indicate the column is numerical like here the present maximum temperature present minimum temperature so we have this information provided using this code next up is data exploration so uh, like we will explore what we have got here so what this uh, code is doing here is uh, it gives us uh, 
we will get the number of co uh, column names followed by the mean variance and standard deviation for each numerical column in the data frame so we have got that for all the columns here as you can see mean variance standard deviation now feature selection uh, this is again dropping the columns which are null we get the view here using data head, dot head as I explained before so after this we will uh, get to data dot drop so uh, in this the data frame stored in variable uh, in the variable data so by calling this we can get the glimpse of the uh, data and quickly inspect its structure and components etc data splitting starts from here we will be performing uh, data split, uh, splitting from this point so uh, this code uh, as you can see the train uh, it is the train test split x y test size is equal to 0 0.3 random state is equal to it splits the input features x and y uh, and uh, into training and testing data so we are dividing it into training and testing data at this point and the po uh, parameter 0 0.3 uh, it specifies that uh, the 30 percent of the data uh, is used to be uh, is used for testing and the remaining 70 uh, percent data will be used for training that uh, we have specified that and the random uh, state 2 which is here uh, is given here it is used to ensure reproductivity after executing this uh, code here this one this code prints the shapes of the x train y train uh, x test y test array by printing these shapes we can see the dimensions of these arrays the output of number uh, of samples that's row and the number of features column in each array that's what this is doing it divides it into uh, four sets of data actually then uh, here is when we start model training after executing this code the model will be trained and be ready for uh, to make predictions on the new data and uh, the uh, here the model will learn the underlying patterns and uh, in the testing uh, in the training data and can be used to predict uh, the target uh, variable based on new inputs and features uh, this is again the training is doing we are actually uh, three classes are provided here uh, rigid lasso and elastic net after executing this model one uh model uh, one one model one two and model one three these will be trained and ready to make predictions on new data each model has learned the underlying pattern again and can be used for new uh, to make predictions on new input given by the user here we will start the evaluation of a model at this point so and the model score function actually calculates the accuracy of the trained model on the uh, of the uh, on the testing model so the score can go from 0 to 1 here as you can see all the values are between 0 to 1 all these 0 0.77 0 0.77 uh, so if uh, by comparing both these test and training data we can uh, assess whether the model is overfitting or generalized if the training score is significantly higher than a test score that means the model has memorized the training data instead of learning the pattern and uh, that can result in poor performance on new or unseen data which we don't want so you can see the values here uh, the train and test model 0 0.77 to 0 0.77 so they are uh, like same almost same so which is good and model intercept here this one so the model in, uh, intercept attribute returns the intercept or bias term of the variable regression model it re represents the value of the target variable when all the input features are zero 
the intercept is a uh, like a constant term in regression equation and determines the vertical position of the regression line so here the prediction starts the model dot coef here attribute returns the coefficients or weights associated with uh, each input feature in a linear regression model these coefficient uh, represent the impact or influence of uh, each feature on the target variable uh, so we have like we have uh, y predict train y predict train 2 y predict test these are the models so the y predict train is uh, actually predicts the value of target variable which is y from the training data these predictions are obtained using the trained linear regression model as uh, and the input features that's x train so we have the visualization here we will make the scatter plot uh, to see the uh, relationship between the actual target values and predicted target values obtained by linear regression model as you can see here so again this code is here creating the scatter plane to visualize relation between actual target values and predicted target values from the obtained linear regression model so here we get our result the r uh, the r2 score uh, function from uh, the module is used to calculate r squared score which represents the proportion of the variance in the target value that's y drain that can be explained by the independent variable x train in the linear regression model so by evaluating the r square score we can assume the performance of the linear regression model on the test data which helps in understanding how well the model generalizes the unseen data to uh, uh, to use a trained model to make predictions on new input data we can use the predict uh, model and provide the new data as a two dimensional array and each row represents a sample and each column represents a feature so this will give us the predicted value of the target variable based on the input data the new data which will be giving uh, so that's uh, like pretty much it and i have made a website for it you can use it so uh, like this is a website where you can enter your data however you like so six values can be input here which we will be entering the forecast and to perf uh, click on perform bias correction and so we get here the final bias corrected forecast data is displayed using the st.write function the output is shown as uh, like bias corrected forecast data which is followed by corrected data so that's pretty much it thank you